Hello everyone. So in this video, we will be talking about the derivative of hyperbolic functions. So basically, these are just trigonometric functions that are that has h on the end of the trigonometric functions, and that is what we call the hyperbolic functions. So these are the derivative of the hyperbolic functions. The derivative of hyperbolic sine is equivalent to positive hyperbolic cos u times d over dx and the same with the hyperbolic cos that is equivalent to hyperbolic sine positive uh, u times d over dx. And here are the list of the derivatives or the equivalent derivatives of our hyperbolic functions. So you have to familiarize yourselves on the, the equivalent hyperbolic uh, derivatives of each function's stated. We also have the hyperbolic identities that we have here. So if the, if the angle is negative for the hyperbolic sign, the hyperbolic sign will become a negative. However, if the angle in the hyperbolic cos is negative, it will not affect the sign of the hyperbolic cos it will be it will still be positive so as you can see from here we have the identity or the pythagorean identity of the hyperbolic um, trigonometric functions uh, versus the pythagorean identities of the normal trigonometric functions as you can see it, it the the signs are reversed or it is different because from here, hyper, hyperbolic cos squared x minus hyperbolic sine squared x is equivalent to 1. However, here, it is plus. The same with the hyperbolic pan and hyperbolic sec. Uh, they also have different signs in which here it is positive. But if you look at here, this would become a di different sign. The same goes with the hyperbolic cotangent and hyperbolic cosecant. So it is also different. You have to um, you have to familiarize yourselves about the the equivalent identities of the hyperbolic um, fun functions because it is different with the regular trigonometric functions. So let's have here some examples. We have find y prime from y is equivalent to sine hyperbolic sine 4x. So from here, if you can recall from the derivative earlier, the derivative of hyperbolic sine is positive hyperbolic cos. So we have cos, hyperbolic cos of 4x times the derivative of our u, which is 4. So rewriting this one, we have 4 cos 4x, and this is our y prime. So this is our final answer. The next example we have here is the find y prime from y is equivalent to cos 2x minus 1 or hyperbolic cos 2x minus 1. So if you can observe, our this is our u. So this would give us cos u. And the derivative of that one is hyperbolic sine u du over dx. So again, our u here is equivalent to 2x minus 1. And the derivative of our u with respect to x is just equivalent to 2. So rewriting that in this derivative, the derivative of our hyperbolic cos, that would give us hyperbolic sine u, which is 2x minus 1, times the derivative of our u with respect to x, which is 2. So that would give us the final answer to hyperbolic sine 2x minus 1. So this is now our final answer. The next or the third example is y is equivalent to ln of hyperbolic tangent squared 3x. So from here, um, this is also equivalent to y is equivalent to ln u, in which our u is equivalent to hyperbolic tangent squared 3x. So we also need to find the derivative of that because the derivative of ln u is du over dx all over u. 
So if you can recall this one, then you can answer this as easy as possible. So we have the derivative of tan hyperbolic tangent squared 3x is, since this has a power, so meaning to say we need to apply the power rule. So we have 2 hyperbolic tan 3x times the derivative of our tangent, which is hyperbolic sine, hyperbolic sec squared, and then copy the angle 3x. And then the derivative of our angle, which is 3. So this would give us 6 tangent 3x secant squared 3x. So this is our d over dx. So um, by the derivative of our y prime or the derivative of our y, we have ln u in which d over dx is this one. So we have 6 hyperbolic tan 3x, hyperbolic secant squared 3x, all over the original value of our u, which is tangent hyperbolic tan squared 3x. So, since there's, there's a common hyperbolic tan in the numerator and the denominator, so we can cancel 1 from the numerator and one from the denominator. So that would gives, give us the remaining six hyperbolic second squared three X all over hyperbolic tan three X. So if you can recall, there is still a, an equivalent identity here. Second or hyperbolic second is equivalent to one over hyperbolic cos and hyperbolic tan is also equivalent to hyperbolic sine over hyperbolic cos. So that gives us six over hyperbolic cos squared three X all over the, the equivalent identity of hyperbolic tan, which is hyperbolic sine 3x over hyperbolic cos 3x. So dividing the two fractions, we can have 6 over cos squared 3x times the reciprocal of the denominator, which is hyperbolic cos 3x over hyperbolic sine 3x. So we can cancel this one and cancel this one. So what we have left is 6 over hyperbolic cos 3x times hyperbolic sine 3x. So I think we cannot simplify this in any further. So this is now our final answer. So the last example for this video is the derivative of y, which is equivalent to arctan hyperbolic sine x. So as you can see, arctan and hyperbolic sine. So this is our u. And if you can recall, the, the derivative of arctan is equivalent to 1 over 1 plus u squared du over dx. So from here, sine hyperbolic sine x is our u. And the derivative of our u with respect to x is positive hyperbolic cos. So we can just substitute that in our derivative of our arctan. So we have y prime is equivalent to 1 over 1 plus u, which is hyperbolic sine x squared times the derivative of our u with respect to x, which is hyperbolic cos x. So that gives us hyperbolic cos x all over 1 plus hyperbolic sine squared x. And if you can recall from the identity earlier, 1 plus hyperbolic sine squared x is also equivalent to hyperbolic 
cos squared x. So that means um, we can cancel from the numerator and the denominator. So, so what we have left is 1 hyperbolic cos x at the denominator in which this is equivalent to hyperbolic secant x. So this is now our final answer. So that's all the examples that we have in this video. I hope you learned something from this video and I'll see you on the next videos. Thank you.